Subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia. America's new AI rules. What's the big deal? America has new rules about selling AI tech. These regulations are not just a minor update. They represent a significant shift in how the United States plans to manage and control the distribution of artificial intelligence technologies. The aim is to ensure that AI advancements are used responsibly and do not fall into the wrong hands. These rules are making waves around the world. Countries and companies globally are reacting to these changes as they could potentially alter the landscape of international AI development and trade. The ripple effects are being felt in boardrooms and government offices from Silicon Valley to Shanghai. They're designed to control who gets the most powerful AI technology. The US government wants to ensure that cutting-edge AI does not end up in the hands of adversaries or entities that might use it for malicious purposes. This is a strategic move to maintain national security and technological superiority. The rules create a three-tier system. This system categorizes AI technologies based on their potential impact and sensitivity. Tier 1 includes the most advanced and potentially dangerous AI, while Tier 3 covers more common and less sensitive technologies. Each tier has different restrictions on what can be sold and to whom. For instance, Tier 1 technologies might only be sold to close allies with stringent oversight, whereas a Tier 3 technologies could be more widely available, but still under certain conditions. This isn't just about keeping up with the latest gadgets. It's about setting a framework that balances innovation with security. The US wants to foster AI development while ensuring that these powerful tools are not misused. AI is the future, and America wants to stay ahead of the game. By implementing these rules, the US aims to lead the global AI race, ensuring that it remains at the forefront of technological advancements and reaps the economic and strategic benefits. But these rules have big implications for countries like India, which are trying to grow their own AI industries. Indian tech companies may face new hurdles in accessing the latest AI technologies, potentially slowing their progress and affecting their competitiveness on the global stage. So, let's break down what these rules mean and why they matter. Understanding the nuances of these regulations is crucial for anyone involved in the AI industry. From developers and researchers to policymakers and business leaders, these rules will shape the future of AI development and its global impact. Subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia. Think of it like a VIP club, but for AI. Imagine a place where only the elite get in, where the velvet ropes separate the insiders from the outsiders. This is the world of AI hardware distribution, and it's all about who gets what and when. Tier 1 is the guest list. These are the countries that have made it to the top, the ones that get first dibs on the latest and greatest in AI technology. They are the VIPs of the AI world. These countries get the red carpet treatment and access to the most advanced AI hardware. Think of it as walking down the red carpet at a glamorous event, where every camera is flashing and every door is open. We're talking top-of-the-line chips and systems, the kind of technology that can propel a nation to the forefront of AI development, giving them a significant edge over others. Tier 2 is more like the waiting list. These countries have some access, but they have to wait their turn. They get the technology, but not the latest and greatest. It's like being at a concert but sitting in the nosebleed seats. They get some access, but with more restrictions. They might get older models or less powerful systems, and they have to work harder to achieve the same results. And then there's Tier 3. These are the countries that are basically left out in the cold. They don't get access to the advanced technology and have to make do with what they can get. It's like standing outside a club in the freezing weather, hoping to catch a glimpse of what's happening inside but never getting in. These tiers are all about control. It's a strategic game, like chess, where every move is calculated to maintain power and influence. America wants to decide who gets to play in the big leagues of AI. They want to control the flow of technology and ensure that only their allies get the best tools. The message is clear. If you're not on the guest list, you're not getting in. It's a bold move, but one that underscores the importance of AI in the global power structure. Subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia. So, where do India and China fit into all of this? It's complicated. India finds itself in a strange position. It's not on the VIP list, but it's not completely shut out either. It's kind of stuck in limbo. China, on the other hand, is facing the toughest restrictions. America sees both countries as potential rivals in the tech race, and they're using these export rules to keep them in check. 
Subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia. The simple answer? Power. AI is the next big thing, and America wants to stay on top. They see AI as crucial for everything from national security to economic dominance. And they're not afraid to use their tech advantage to stay ahead. There are also concerns about how other countries might use this technology. America wants to make sure that AI is developed and used responsibly. At least that's what they say. Subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia. Section 5. The Impact on India, a Reality Check. These export rules are a major setback for India's AI ambitions. The Indian AI sector has been growing rapidly, with numerous startups and established companies investing heavily in research and development. However, the new export rules limit the ability of Indian companies to procure advanced AI hardware and software from international markets, which are crucial for their projects. This sudden restriction has left many businesses scrambling to find alternatives, often at a higher cost and with lower efficiency. India has been making strides in AI research and development. The country boasts a large pool of talented engineers and researchers who have been working on cutting-edge AI technologies. From natural language processing to machine learning algorithms, Indian tech experts have been contributing significantly to the global AI landscape. Universities and research institutions across India have been collaborating with international partners to push the boundaries of what AI can achieve. This progress has not only put India on the global AI map, but has also attracted significant foreign investments. But, you know, these restrictions could make it harder for Indian companies to access the hardware they need to compete on a global scale. Advanced AI projects often require specialized hardware, such as high-performance GPUs and custom AI chips, which are predominantly manufactured outside India. The export rules have made it challenging for Indian firms to import these critical components. As a result, many projects are facing delays, and some might even be shelved indefinitely. This situation is particularly frustrating for businesses that have already invested heavily in AI infrastructure and now find themselves unable to move forward. This could have a ripple effect throughout the Indian economy. AI is not just a standalone sector. It is an enabler for various industries, including healthcare, finance, agriculture, and manufacturing. The slowdown in AI development could hinder innovation across these sectors, affecting productivity and efficiency. For instance, AI-driven solutions in agriculture could help farmers optimize crop yields, while in healthcare, AI can assist in early diagnosis and personalized treatment plans. The restrictions could stifle these advancements, leading to broader economic repercussions. AI is expected to be a major driver of growth in the coming years. Projections indicate that AI could contribute significantly to India's GDP, creating millions of jobs and transforming various sectors. The government's initiatives, such as the National AI Strategy, aim to position India as a global AI hub. However, these ambitions are now at risk due to the export restrictions. The anticipated growth in AI-driven industries might not materialize as expected, leading to missed opportunities and slower economic progress. These restrictions could slow down that growth and make it harder for India to achieve its full potential. The country has the talent, the ambition, and the vision to become a leader in AI. However, without access to the necessary resources, these aspirations might remain unfulfilled. The government and industry stakeholders need to find ways to navigate these challenges perhaps by fostering local manufacturing of AI hardware, or negotiating more favorable trade terms. Only then can India continue its journey towards becoming a global AI powerhouse. Subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia. Section 6. NVIDIA speaks out. This doesn't make sense. Even American companies are feeling the heat. NVIDIA, a leading maker of AI chips, has been vocal in its criticism of the new rules. They argue that these restrictions will only hurt American businesses and innovation. These restrictions create an uneven playing field and could stifle innovation. It's like trying to win a race with one hand tied behind your back. Subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia. Section 7. What's next? The future of AI is still being written. These export rules will have a lasting impact on the global AI landscape. For India, 
the challenge is to navigate these restrictions and continue to grow its AI industry. It won't be easy. But India has a history of defying expectations and overcoming challenges. Subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia. Section 8. India's Counter Move Leveling the Playing Field India isn't just going to sit back and take it. The government is exploring ways to boost domestic AI development and reduce reliance on foreign technology. This includes investing in research, fostering startups, and creating a more supportive regulatory environment. It's about building a self-reliant AI ecosystem that can compete with the best in the world. Subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia. Section 9. The future is bright India's AI potential. Despite these challenges, the future of AI in India is bright. India has a young, talented workforce and a thriving tech sector. With the right investments and policies, India has the potential to become a global AI powerhouse. These export rules may be a setback, but they won't stop India's AI journey. They might just be the push India needs to unlock its true potential in this game-changing field. Subscribe, like, and share Cosmo Academia.